Did you know that you can use Divi and Gutenberg at the same time? So if you're wondering whether you should stick with Divi or you should start using Gutenberg, this is the best of both worlds. So let's head over here to pages and create a brand new page. And by the way, if you want to purchase DV, I have a special discount. If you purchase it using my affiliate link in the video description below, I will give you access to DV University. This is a platform which has courses, templates, and everything that you need to make awesome DV websites. All right, so now I'm on my page here. I'm going to call this Mac page. And then I can either use DV Builder or default editor now here's the thing if you choose divi builder it's going to just pretty much go into the divi builder and that's it so in this case you want to go into the default editor so this is the gutenberg editor now i've also installed a plugin called spectra this enhances the gutenberg blocks so i can start now by adding you know pretty much anything i want so let's say i want to add a container i can just click here and now all of a sudden i have flexbox and i can use this alongside Divi. So if I click in here, I can click on this plus button and let's say I want to add something Divi related. So I can go in and search for Divi and then click on Divi layout and then build new Divi layout. So now this is taking me into the actual Divi builder and this integration here is really awesome. So let's say I want to click on start building. I can go now with a single row and in this row, let's add a blurb and select it. All right. So what I'm going to do now is to just customize this a little bit. So let's start off by adding an icon. So I'm going to click here on use icon. And I'm just going to choose maybe this one here. And then let's stylize this. So I'm going to go to my icon, change the color. Perhaps maybe go with a gray. So this is for demo purposes only. Um, ideally, I was supposed to have chosen a color palette. All right, so let's go with 48 as our size here. Next, uh, we need to customize our text. I'm gonna hover over here and then click on my heading text. So for my font here, I'm gonna leave it as it is, but I'm gonna make it bold so it really stands out. I'm gonna align it to the center here. I'm gonna go to my text. Again, I'm gonna align it to the center. So pretty much that's looking great. In fact, you know what? There's a lack of color here. Why don't we just do something like that? Okay. Or maybe even this. All right. So let's say this is um, my design. I'm happy with that. I can now hit save changes. So I'm going to duplicate this a few times. So now we can see our content is right here, which is fantastic. Now let's say I need to edit this layout. I can always come over here, but make sure you select it first and then click on edit layout. So let's say the change I need to make in here is to delete. I can just go in here, delete everything I need to delete, save this. And now I'm back to my normal design. So while I'm here, I can also click on this plus button. And this time, let's say I want to add, um, let's browse all and see what we can add here. So let's say we want to add maybe a countdown. How about that? So you can see here, our countdown is over there. I can go in and customize it. So let's say I go to my style. I can adjust my box width, make it smaller. The gaps, I can make the gaps smaller. So here's a really cool thing. So let's say I want to use Flexbox. I can highlight this main container here. Scroll all the way down to Flex Properties. And we can see here that my direction at the moment is going to the right. I can change this. Now it's to the left. I can also uh, make this um, blurb go on the top and then the countdown on the bottom. So I have uh, Flexbox properties that I can play around with because all my um, items here are in different containers. So let's say I wanted to go in here and uh, add a bit more space between this. I can always do that because everything is within this container here. So. Let's save this and take a look at it. So I'm going to hit Command S and then we're going to view the page in a new tab. So there we go. So we have our blurb here on the top and we also have our countdown here on the bottom. So we can always go in and tweak this because as you can see right now, it's not looking great, but I'm sure you guys get the idea. So just to make uh, this work properly, I'm going to go in and delete it and add something else. 
Now, the only thing that's quite annoying here is this keeps loading uh, while I'm um, designing other elements of my page. So uh, let's see what we can add here. So let's say we want to add some star ratings. So I can just call this uh, main rating, for example. And then I can choose my range here, 1 to 10 or 1 to 5. And the rating here is 4, but I can change it to maybe 3.5. I can stack it. I can make it inline. Pretty much I can do whatever I want. So let's stack this for now. But this time, we want to make sure that this is side by side. So I'm going to select my container. And by the way, if you can't see the container, the really cool thing is you can come over here and you can collapse this and select the container that way. So when I scroll all the way down here, I can now choose my direction because now I want them side by side. So I can have it like that. Click on update and then I can refresh the page. There we go. So I have my rating now side by side. Now, let's say you want to design this to make it mobile friendly. The cool thing is you can just come over here, choose tablet. And then while you're in tablet mode, you can go into the container one more time and then change the direction. So let's say you want it this way, but you want everything centered. You can just go in and center everything. So this is the power of using Gutenberg and Divi pretty much at the same time. So I found that there are some uh, modules that are not available with uh, Divi. I can just go into Gutenberg and find those much, much easier and just use this to create a complete page. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.